Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, last time we did side questing, tree hugger. Oh yeah, that was the gar garbage collection thing. Um, because it, it was a short, shorter stream. Uh, because I did some Overwatch. Sorry, guys, I'm a little disorganized here. Um, so yeah, I, I did did some overwatch yesterday to f get some last minute loot boxes. Uh, and then once that was done, I switched back to this. Uh, and we did some side questing, as I had said. So we still got a few more side quests to do. So I'm going to try to finish those off. And then we can continue with the story. What are you going to do? Spew another long-winded speech? Just give it up already. Enough already! Your idle threats don't intimidate me. That was me asking nicely. You won't like not so nice. Hey, come on. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Look, new... New Ami san Take my advice and pack it in for today. Got it? <laughs> you never know when these political extremists snap. Maybe even take down an innocent bystander or two. <laughs> Why, I... Wow, he's blocking away with some swagger. Freaking kids these days. You alright? Yes, I think so. Thank you very much. You're a lifesaver. Sir! Sir, are you alright? Another hired thug? We've had enough of your interference. What are you talking about? No, Harachi kun. On the contrary, this man was helping me. Huh? Oh? To be fair, he does kind of look like a thug. So you're a politician, huh? My name's Yunami. I deeply apologize for my aide's gross misunderstanding. Please forgive me. It's alright. I know I don't look like... I know I don't look like the average upstanding citizen. I don't want. Eh, I. I know I don't much look like the average upstanding citizen. Does that kid come by here just to heckle you? Yes. This part of Camarocho is under my electoral electoral district. I've been giving public speeches here, but lately it seems I've been attracting the wrong kind of attention. It's a conspiracy. A rival has been sending these higher protesters after you. Harachi-kun, I won't have you spreading baseless rumors about a respected political opponent. But, sir... Well, well, well. If it isn't, you nami -san. Oh, hello, Shira... Shirakawa-sensei? Shirakawa... Shirakawa-sensei? Are you speaking here today? You certainly do work hard. Or do you hardly work? Haha! <laughs> I kid, I kid. Without the strong contingency you enjoy, Sh Shirakawa-san, I have to focus on more grassroots effort. <clears throat> That's just fine. When I was younger, I worked my way up by doing the same. But, you know, youngsters these days have no stomach for real debate. If you try to make too many waves, the rabble will have it out for you. One wrong word could spell the end of your political career. I suppose. Well, I'm sure you still have a bright future ahead. Do your best, and the wheels of democracy will turn just fine. Take care now. He is so in this. See? I just know he's behind this. How many times have I told you as much? Who was that windbag? 
Councilman Masumi Shirakawa. Nuami Sensei will be going head to head against him in the next election into the Diet. I don't know what that means. Please, Harachi kun, don't go accusing Shira Shirakawa Sensei without proof. I'm sure he'll never even consider doing such a thing. You really trust that Shirakawa guy? Why, I idolize Shirakawa Sensei. He entered politics at a young age and has accomplished a great deal since then. He and I may be political rivals, but I can't even imagine him doing anything, doing, doing anything so underhanded. Sensei, why give campaign speeches if they're going to keep causing all this trouble? Sounds like they've been harassing, been her. Sounds like they've been harassed by some hired thugs. I'll be a lookout. I'll be your lookout if you like. Yeah. Oh, but I couldn't impose on you like that. I just want to lend a ha helping hand to a guy who could use one. Really? Well, if you don't mind, then I'd appreciate it. But please, try not to do anything too rash. Quite a crowd. Mm. Indeed. There might already be a handful of rabble rousers in there. I hate to ask, but could you please start patrolling the area? Sure thing. And if I find someone trying to interrupt the speech, I toss them out, yeah? Yes, but just because someone's speaking up doesn't always mean they're working against us. So please observe carefully before throwing them out. Don't jump the gun, you mean. Alright. Alright, thank you. That new Ami sure has a sneaky way of getting publicity. Hey, you two. Somebody send ya, send ya, send ya here to make trouble? Oh, I'm only supposed to talk if they're causing... Oh. Excuse me? I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, what? Is new Ami Sand the kind of person who'd slap a gag order on voters? Pretty shocking if you ask me. Ah, shit. You actually wanted to hear the gu what the guy had to say. Watch who you're throwing out. You have to be careful, you know. Yeah, sorry. It's difficult to ascertain trouble from a distance. First, approach a potential troublemaker to find out what they're saying before you call them out. Gotcha. I'll be real careful. Alright, you can go back to your patrol now. I thought we had to talk to the guy to hear what they were saying and then be like, yes or no on throwing them out. Equal opportunity is paramount. Nuami Sans policies are too flip floppy. Politics need to be out in the open. Oh, it looks like it's about that time. Alright then, you ready to go? No political handouts, let's end corruption. Ah, it looks like it's about time. You ready to go? Ready to go could just simply mean that they're, you have to go. We'll be mad if I'm late. Unfortunate tactics will continue. Don't want to lose our reservations. Maybe I should vote for a dude. Hee hee hee. That didn't sound good. Why are you laughing? It's time to make the sparks fly. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is obvious. Hey, you the punk Shirawana sent over? What's your deal, Gramps? You hear stir up shit for the shit stirrers? You're a funny man. And New Miami Sand's a busy man. If you got something to say, I'm all ears. Big government, big mouth. Do you want to get nominated for a kick in the caucus? You're outnumbered, Grandpa. Well, this ain't no democracy. How about we tally it up over there and see if strength really is in numbers? Huh. Okay. I thought that was too obvious, but... Alright, show me what you got. This 
This guy's shifty. My leg. Hey, why are you loafing around? Get back to... Oh. Thank goodness you're here. Save us, sir. Sorry, you must be having me confused with my twin. We get mixed up all the time. <laughs> Too late to try covering your ass now. I figured this thing was... I figured this thing was your bright idea. Gah. Are you going to blab to the media? Report me to the police? Sue me? Wow, he's everywhere. I wasn't planning on doing much of anything with you. But if you call yourself a half-decent politician, you can't get sidetracked by this underhanded crap. Try doing your goddamn job. You became a politician because you had a vision, yeah? Well, somewhere down the line, polls and press became more important to you than sticking to your principles. It ain't all about winning. Honest politicians out there look up to you. Don't let them down like this. Be better. Bah. Who do you think you're fl fluster busting? Such impudence. But you're right. I do indeed have a vision. I simply forgot about it for a moment there. I suppose I owe you one, young man. Yeah, that was too easy. <clears throat> yeah, big time. Bah! More impotence. Come on, boys. We've got chats to hang. Yes, sir. Who the hell walks like that? The speech ended without incident. Did anything crop up on your end? Yeah. Found the guy who was sending punks to heckle you. We had us a little debate. Aha! I knew it! He was on Shirakawa's payroll, wasn't he? Was he? Nah. I thought he was, so I gave him the third degree. Turns out he was acting alone. Oh, I see. <clears throat> what did I tell you, Harakatkan? Don't accuse good men without proof. Do you understand why that is now? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Thank you for your help today, said Jima-san. I regret that my position prevents me from offering a token of gratitude. Don't mention it. Civic duty and all that. I really appreciate it, too. Well, goodbye, then. Sensei? Thank you again, said Jima-san. For everything. You bet. Knock him dead. It's really hard to keep track of who I'm giving my real name to. <laughs> oh, that was awfully easy. Thank goodness. Just the man I've been looking for. Hell of a scratch you got there. What happened? Some whacked out hoodlums are going completely berserk. They're too much for us to handle. Come on! Alright. Uh -huh. Nothing but leeches in society. Parasites. Houses are free people. Worms crawl in the dirt. Eat dirt and die, worms. No, my shelter. What did we ever do to you? Uh, why are you doing this? Give us one good reason. You want a reason? All right. We're cleaning up the streets by getting rid of the garbage. But we were just living our lives here. 
We are not bothering a soul. Not a soul, huh? What? Bloodsuckers like you bother us just by existing. <laughs> Ugh. Don't do something you will regret now. Funny. I don't remember asking you for your opinion. Better watch your mouth, you crusty old asshole. At least I ain't too chicken shit to fight a man one-on-one. -on -one. Why, you... I guess it's time for somebody to get his ass kicked. Enough being around the goddamn bush here, kids. Put her in your big boy pants and bring it. Get away with this. You got me out of a real sticky situation. How can I ever thank you? I was just passing through. Don't thank me. Thank him. And with your injury, too. I'm truly grateful. It was nothing, Chief. All I did was bring this fellow by. You the boss around here? Yeah. I'm flattered, but it's nothing so fancy as that. I've just been living here a long time, that's all. Must be rough for you. Any idea what those hool hooligans wanted? Yes, about them. They started their raid several months back. Goddamn teenagers ganging up, picking on old folks. What's this world come to? There might actually be more to it than that. What are you getting at? I thought they were just drugged up teenagers on a joyride too. That is, until now. Did you see how furious that young man was? I wonder if he had a reason to feel that way. Can't be a good one. Oh, please excuse me. I didn't mean to get you all caught up in, this o in an old man's ramblings. No sweat. Alright, well... Take care of yourself. I'll try. Thank you again. To the hideout. Oh, nothing. Dude, was that it for the side quest then? Man, we could have totally have finished it last night then. I thought they were going to be, like, more in depth. Yeah, damn, we could totally have finished that yesterday then. I mean, 20 minutes would have been a bit of a slog because I was really tired, but. Damn. Oh, well. Okay, guys, let's continue the story. Now, if I remember right, there's garbage here. I didn't realize I was being chased. Man, that's just an amazing combo.
spicy 3000. Saijima can enter manholes. He has access he can access the underground routes from these manholes and go to various areas in Komorocho. Strong like bull. Okay. Oh, I thought that was shiny for a second. Okay, it's a garbage. I'm gonna have to like go back and cash some of this in. We got a lot. Oh, you out here treasure hunting too? <laughs> you can't just look at treasure like you're better than than it. That just isn't right. You've got to just focus on it. Be the treasure. When you become the treasure, you can hear it talking to you, whispering sweet nothings that only another treasure can hear. During your adventure, you can enter first-person mode. Once you enter this mode, you'll step into the shoes of the main character, and, and you might even discover something new that you didn't see before. Whenever you get to, to a spot that piques your, piques your interest, enter first-person mode and take a look around. You got that? Focus and look around. <laughs> oh, so close to leveling. Okay. I was going to say, that kind of seemed like there would be something here then. I heard one heck of a racket topside. Something happened? Don't look at me. Probably just some assholes in a bar fight. I like the story. You're new in town, huh? Well, just see that you don't bring any trouble down here. We don't have anywhere else to go, you know. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Take it easy now. You hear about that death row inmate who broke out of a maximum broke out of maximum security and fled to Komorocho? I've had just enough of your crackpot rumors. If that were true, there'd be policemen everywhere. No, it's totally legit. There's this black site in Okiwana where they hold only the worst and most violent felons. But since it's a government secret, law enforcement has to keep things hush hush if anyone breaks out. If the media caught wind of this, it'd be a PR nightmare. That's why a classified task force is leading the manhunt. You can keep your crazy ass conspiracy theories. It's always inside inside job this and cover up that. No wonder you can't hold down a steady job. Fine, don't believe me. But don't say I didn't warn you. Folks are already blabbing about my getaway all the way out here in Tokyo. Best to keep a low profile. <clears throat> I saw some garbage over here. Oh, over here. Boxy garbage. The hell is with this place? Oh, wow, we like right there. Oh, and we don't even get to walk around. Ah, there you are. Who in the goddamn... You. I've been waiting for you, Taiga Saijima. While you've been looking for me, I've had my eye on you. So... Is there something you wanted to ask me? Yeah.
Let's go about purgatory. So what's the deal with this purgatory joint? You know that entertainment area you saw as you came in? Kind of hard to miss. Well, I built it myself years ago. What you see, I created. Karma Ultra's rich and famous come here from all quarters for a taste of the pleasures they can't get above ground. We cater to every taste, no matter how decadent. Gambling, sex, things of that nature. Normally, potential clients are carefully screened before I let them in, though I've made an exception in your case. But these pleasures are going to cost you. Just be careful the place doesn't suck you in. Don't forget, you're a man on a mission. Time for some answers. Ask him of the florist. Folks call you some kind of info broker. Uh. That they do. I'm a dealer, and the drug I sell is Intel. Information on everything that goes down in Komorocho eventually reaches my ears, one way or another. I have a network of informers at my fingertips, and surveillance cameras mounted all over town. I've got eyes in every nook and cranny. You being here means there's something you, you want to know. Something only I could find out for you. Yeah, I'm looking for Hideki Sashi, patriarch of the Sashi family. Or at least he was back in 85. Know where he's at? Uh. I do, but my intel doesn't come cheap. Name your price. Let's say 10 million yen. That a joke? I ain't holding that kind of cash. But you already knew that, didn't you? Of course. I wouldn't be much of an info dealer if I didn't. But you do have another option. There's something you can do for me instead. Yeah? Let's hear it. <laughs> Follow me. Coliseum? Yeah. What kind of place is this? The Underground Coliseum. Only VIP members are allowed to speculate the, f the fights here. Spectate the fights here. I guess I'm not... I'm guessing you're not inviting me to watch. Exactly. I want you to enter the expedition deathmatch I'm holding. Deathmatch? <laughs> That's right. A bona fide deathmatch. Not like that fake crap they show on TV. Two fighters enter the ring. Only one walks out alive. I'm not going to force you against your will. But if you can't pay, this is your only option to obtain that info on your old boss. Fine. I'm in. It's settled, then. There's only one rule. Weapons and medicines are strictly forbidden during the match. Now, I suggest you go prepare yourself. Come see me when you're ready to begin. Oh good, at least I have a chance to heal up beforehand, then. Much literal garbage. Oh, let's try this without healing up. This could be a bad idea. I take it you're ready to enter the Coliseum? I'm broke. I don't know what that's supposed to do. To yet tell you the truth, I'm broke. No money to prep with. And disconnected. Yep. Very annoying. I probably should have seen this coming. Since you're so strapped for cash, take this. Consider it an advance on your prize money. Now, hurry up and get ready to earn that back. Uh, I mean, that's great, but... Where do I spend it? Oh, out here. Let's have a look around then real quick.
shinies, shinies. Possibly ten million dollars lying around. Take your 10,000 and I'll make tons out of it. Baccarat. I never really... I've always been meaning to learn that. Ever since I played uh, James Bond on the Game Boy. P part of the mission was to win so much money in Baccarat. And I always just kind of, like, stumbled around till I won. This isn't a soup kitchen. Back to the sewers with you. Don't provoke the man, darling. He might have a disease. But dear, purgatory's for the creme de la creme. Poor people like him ruin all our fun. I think you've had just a teensy bit too much to drink. Let's get you a nice spray tan to help you relax. Hello, tall, dark, and dangerous. Want to have some fun? I can show you so much more than a good time. You talking to me? Don't be shy. This is purgatory. I can do things to your body that you can only imagine. I don't know. I got a pretty good... I got a damn good imagination. Pick your poison and we'll make all your dreams come true. But whatever your kink, it's going to cost you. Cost me. You think the heights of erotic ecstasy come for free? A man with your assets could earn some decent money. Come back when you have a little to invest in yourself. Here's a tip, Tiger. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. I'll see you when you can afford the fire things in life. I actually have a diamond on me. I mean, again, we were in prison for the last 25 years. I think it would take less than a heartbeat for me to give up that diamond to, like, hey, shop. Hey, you. I got some good stuff over here. You interested? This smells so bad, it might just save your ass in a fight. Just leave it behind when you go to the club. You sure? Come back. Come, yeah. Come back sometime. The stairs are closed off. Guess it's a dead end. Oh, so I guess Saijima is the only one that can come here. If he's the only one that can go through the sewers. Ow, my head. What the heck happened? How did we get here? Last I remember, we were out drinking. We got really drunk, so we went to the park to sober up. Then it gets kind of fuzzy, but I think I remember something about a manhole? Yeah, what was that all about? Well, wherever we are, it looks like fun. And as long as we're here anyway, we may as well enjoy ourselves. Next round's on me. Sounds great. No point looking a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, I think that there's a casino over there. Let's go. Examine. Oh, that was a phone. Thanks for telling me about this place. It's a blast. What was it called again? Limbo or something? Purgatory. I pulled a few strings to get us invitations. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Who would have guessed the real Komarocho was down here? A casino, an arena, lovely ladies, and an open bar. This place really has it all. Best of all, everything's on the station's tab tonight. So let's party like it's 1988. Shiny. Ok, 
Okay, I'm assuming this is like three rounds. The first round being a joke, second round being pretty much a joke, and the third round being like, what the hell happened to the difficulty? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. All right then, let's go. Wait, are we gonna meet Majima and that's gonna be like the connecting thread? Like all the guys are gonna like meet Majima and then, hello. コーナーより挑戦者西島大河の友情です。25年前発敗するで敵対する組織に立ち向かい18人もの極道者をこの世から消し去った伝説のヒットマン裏切りと復讐の脱獄衆西島 He looks super thrilled. Champion no new job this. Oh, that's not my job. Who the fuck is that guy? A Russian guy? Okay, well, I guess it's that round for three. Ono Shai, Hokubet Ruru de Okonaimas. Ono Tadakaini, Oroa Arimasen. Ochirakano Shio Motte, Shohai Okimeru, Kijono Desmachi. Ima Ungudes. The gong. Round one. Fight. Trying to dodge out of the way, but all right. I didn't even look at how much health he had. That's cool. I like how I dodged the first time, and then I dodged into him the second. Okay, I can't block that. That's stupid. Popping up in the corner. Oh, grass. Why am I dodging towards him?
Again, let's dodge into him instead of around him. Well, I was expecting that to be harder, actually. <laughs> So, not a fight to the death? Oh, okay. Yeah, I just walk away. A sword? Well, I guess that's better than trying to break the guy's neck. I mean, that's a lot harder than it looks, and you do it wrong, then he's just paralyzed. And that's just mean. お前が。お前が。殺せ殺せ言うてるけどもやな。この中でほんまに人を殺したやつがおるんかこれ。<笑> え、か。教えといたるわ。人を殺すっちゅうはな。人を殺すっちゅうはな。ごっつ怖いもんなんじゃ。25年前のある日から俺は毎日必ず夢を見る。18人殺した日の夢や。殴った奴の方の感触。骨が砕ける瞬間の音。悲鳴。死んでいった奴の顔。全部が事細かに夢に出る。死んだ人間の家族に申し訳ないとか。そんなは当然思う。せやけどな。せやけどな。そんなもん
Yeah, I figured it was a test. Hold up. Why? I had a feeling you weren't just another psychopath. The hell does that mean? If you had killed Ivan, I would have denied your request. Excuse me? People come here to see blood. But letting my prize fighters murder each other would be bad business. I'm relieved to see there's some humanity left in you. Get to the point. I'll tell you what you want to know. Where Sassy is. That deathmatch back in the underground Coliseum? It was a test. What's that supposed to mean? I wanted to see how you react under those circumstances. I hope you don't hold it against me, but it was necessary. Relax. Ivan will survive. Hell, he'll be back in the ring in a week at most. But for now, he's in the hospital. That was quite a beating you gave him. At least I know he's alright. Now, as for that request about your patriarch's fate following that incident 25 years ago. After Sassy stepped down in 1985, the Uino-Siwa clan put a hit on him, forcing him to go into hiding. Several months later, someone brought him down here to Purgatory. But he was barely clinging to life. Wait, this place has been around for 25 years? How, lo how long has this place been up for? He's been living on the streets since then. What? <clears throat> You're telling me Sassy San's still alive? Uh. Yes. It was all we could do to keep him from dying. He's homeless now, but he's still in Kamurocho. I see. That said, what? He's probably, how shall I say, not the man you remember. Huh? I'll have him brought over right now. Here? Yeah, that's right. Bring him in. I like how he had, like, the phone instantly. He had the phone out, and he was already talking to someone, like, within two seconds. That... that's him? Ugh. Do you know who brought Sassy down here, half dead, a quarter century ago? It was Goro Majima. What? I can only assume Majima was trying to protect Sassy from the Yuino Siwa clan after you were gone. Ah. Oh. Sassy Sin. Where is she? Where is she? Fasai, where is she? Where is she? Sai Shiba des. Ima, kai te kimashita. Muda da. もうこの男に自立した意識はない。いくら話しかけても反応することはない。親父、俺です。帰ってきたんです。親父。さあ。親父。うん。さあ。さあ。I had some time to take it all in. Yeah. I owe you one. Thanks for letting me see him again. A deal's a deal. 
So, what will you do now? There's one more thing I gotta find out. You mean Majima? Yeah. I gotta know what happened back in 85. I wanna hear it straight from his mouth. Have I spent half my life behind bars for nothing? I can't go without knowing. That reminds me. You broke yourself out of prison, right? It would seem the police are hot on your tail. Trail. I heard that they got wind of you being sighted in Komorocho. The city's crawling with cops right now. Shit. You better lay low until things calm down. You still have that hideout, don't you? Yep. Then wait it out there for a while. You should be safe from the police as long as you stay underground. You look big enough to handle a manhole cover. Use those to access the sewers and you'll be able to move freely. Right outside here, there's an entrance to an underground passage. I'll ta it'll take you to one of Komorocho's manholes. I suggest using those manholes whenever you find them. They'll help get you back to your hideout undetected. Gotcha. Thanks. Oh, this is going to be like a chase? The floor said something about passing underground to get back to Komorocho. Well, it's a new chapter, so they probably have new things to say, right? Wow, did you see that exped expedition match they just held? That was the best fight ever! Who's that new guy, anyway? Sasajima or something? He's the real deal. Say, aren't you... Wouldn't you happen to be... If you're going to pe pester everyone about the arena, I'm going to sign you up for a cage match. Pardon him. He just can't seem to hold his liquor. Uh, I don't know. Would the shop change? Guess not. So I don't think I've made any money from the tournament. Golden Dragon Spirit. Fully charge your energy with the Spirit of the Golden Dragon to fill your heat gauge. Hold right trigger when close to an enemy. Golden Dragon Spirit Essence. Charge energy for a long time with the Spirit Essence of Golden Dragon to fill your gauge. Hold and then release. Oh, and we don't have enough. There's some sort of commotion over by the arena. What did I miss? Didn't you hear? The Floris just hosted an expedition match between a new contender and the reigning champion. Exhibition match. Yeah. Oh, so that's why the casino emptied out. It was the battle of the century. The challenger won, then struck a victory pose and gave an epic beat speech. I've never seen anything like it in all my life. I sure wish you could have been there. You should have come to get me. I'm afraid this little lapse will reflect negatively on your annual assessment. Hmm. Did you see that fight? Your station should start airing them live on TV. They'd be perfect for that mixed martial arts show you just greenlighted. You're a genius! MMA death matches are just the thing to round out this, our summer broadcasting lineup. Let's make it happen. I'll have my people call the promoters people. Oh yeah, baby! We're gonna make a killing off of this. Yeah, televising death matches. Yeah, okay. Good luck with that.
I thought there was two or three garbages to pick up. Yeah, three. Okay. Stay out of the cop's sight till I make it to the hideout. <clears throat> hey! Wait, Sajima san! Yeah, let's just yell my name out. I just watched you fight. It was impressive how you withstood all that pain. I was moved. Who the hell are you? Oh, sorry. My name is Sodashi. I run a dojo in the neighborhood. Well, what do you want with me? Tell you the truth, I was hoping you could help me with something. Help you? Yes. But let's talk at my dojo. That that way that way you can see it for yourself. It's really close by. Do you have a little time to spare? Alright. Fine. But make it quick. Great! Woohoo! Just follow me and we'll be there in a jiffy. I mean, at least I'm off the streets. <laughs> this place ain't bad. I knew you'd think so. I put all my hard-earned savings into making it this way. It's always been my dream to run my own dojo. Should you not be... wearing... Should your boots not be off? Impressive. But there ain't no one here. That's the problem. The truth is, I only have one apprentice at the moment. One? That ain't enough to wash the floor. Exactly. It's a good location, though, and there are a good number of apprentices at first. But everyone quit within days. It's probably my fault, because I'm no good. No good? Yeah. The truth is, I'm a terrible fighter. I've never even won a single fight. Not even once. Huh? So how the hell do you train your apprentices? With my theory on fighting. Theory on fighting? That's right. For years I've been conducting thorough research on how to become a stronger fighter and defeat my opponents. Nobody can beat me when it comes to theory. I've come this far just by believing in my theory. As long as I follow it, I know I can train a great apprentice. Even if I myself am weak. <clears throat> but it turns out no apprentice will trust a weekend of teacher. It's just a matter of time before this dojo is forced to close its doors for good. I've done my best to follow my dream of training a champion, but to no avail. I see. I bet it's hard having your dreams crushed after building such a fine dojo. Yeah, and that's why I've asked you here today, said Jima-san. Would you work with me to help train my apprentices? Me? Yes. After watching you fight at the Underground Coliseum, I knew you were the one I've been looking for. You're not only a great fighter, but you also show compassion, even to your opponents. I'm sure apprentices will look up to you. Of course, I'll support you the best I can. Please, please, said Jima-san. I can't give up now. Fine. I ain't, no ma I ain't making no promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you! You won't regret it. And now, Sajima-san, I formally welcome you to... Sudashi Dojo. Hey, Sensei! Oh, Hai-chan! Perfect timing! Please, let me introduce you to Hideo... Uh, okay, well, at least he knew to change my name. To Hideo Sugiyama-kun. Hi Chan is my dojo's one and only apprentice. Oh, he's talking to me. He's the guy. Oh, okay. Hi Chan. This is Sajima san. He'll be teaching you here for a while. He's an amazing fighter. And when I say amazing, I mean out of this world amazing. Isn't that the name of the guy that escaped prison like yesterday? Oh, that's great. Nice to meet you. I'm Hadio Sugiyama. But you can call me Hadio. I look forward to seeing your... I look forward to being your student. Nice to meet you. Now, how about we get get to training right away? 
Our goal is to make Hai Chan the champion of the rookie tournament. Rookie tournament? What the hell is that? Oh, sorry. I didn't explain that yet, did I? The Coliseum holds regular tournaments that are only open to rookie fighters, with the purpose of fighting the next star fighter. Winning the tournament will earn you recognition as a full-fledged fighter and the opportunity to enter other tournaments in the Coliseum. Underground Coliseum fighters are the true cream of the crop. Since the rookie tournament is full of rookies who hope to become underground Coliseum fighters someday, the fights are always fierce. Huh. They didn't have that when I fought. I heard you were specially nominated. People with astounding strength and a good record are nominated and gain immediate entry. By the way, if you win the rookie tournament, both the fighter and the dojo receive prize money. If I had that money, I'm sure I'd be able to renovate this dojo up quite nicely. Oh, this is the introduction to like the Coliseum fighting stuff. I get it. Like killing two birds with one stone, right? Exactly. Well, that's enough explaining. Let's get to work. I'm looking forward to training with you, said Jima Sensei. You'll be in charge of arranging the... Oh, excuse me. <sighs> You'll be in charge of arranging the training menu. The menu has four regular slots and one special slot. These five slots equal one turn. I'll choose the special slot for now. You'll be in charge of selecting the regular slots. After you've done, press begin to begin training. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it once you get started. Okay, let's do it. Train your apprentices and have them win the tournament within 50 turns. The sooner they win, the better the prize money and the evaluation. You can earn the most prize money by having your apprentice win within 15 turns. After that, the amount will start to decrease every 5 turns. Train your apprentices efficiently so they're able to win in as few turns as possible. So wait, are we now, is this like an RTS slash turn-based thing? Fighter maker. This information has been added. Yeah. What the hell is this? So Dashi's comments. He still has no foundation. The only thing to do now is train, train, and train. Stupid comments. I haven't mastered any of the basics yet, so I really just need to train. Equip apprentice with acquired skills and finishing moves. Die hard spirit. Abilities will be enhanced if the opponent has more stamina than the apprentice. Abilities will decrease if the opponent has less stamina. Wait, is that in general or this one? Dojo status. That's just stats. And training levels, I don't know. Running, combat, intelligence, grappling, speed, something, rest, chasing person after a bike. Use funds to enhance dojo facilities. Punch training. Upgrades punch training facilities to level 2. Improves training efficiency. Kick training. Ground training. Strength training. Oh, that's an arm with... Okay, I see. Road work. Dash. Lecture. Stretches. Rest. A million? Holy crap. I was not looking at the prices at least. Uh, power speed technique. Training to acquire faster and stronger punches. Well-balanced training focuses on power. Training to acquire stronger and more precise kicks. Well-balanced is focused on speed. I do like the speed. <clears throat> training to refine ground offensive and defense defensive skills. Well-balanced training focused on technique. Technique's always good. 
Strength training. Bulk up and create a powerful athletic body. Focuses on power alone, so other abilities may decline. Oh, so this is like... You gain a little bit, and you gain a lot, but you lose stuff. Run to acquire basic health needed to sustain training. Increases maximum stamina. Oh, interesting. That takes up two spots. Repeated short distance sprints to train your legs. Focuses on speed. Other abilities may decline. Focuses on technique. Others may decline. Take your apprentice out for drinks for a change of mood. A fun conversation will increase trust and in mood. Okay, Stanim is going down. Oh, hey, next. According to Sadashi's plan, it's time for a meeting with you, but I ain't the meeting type. So how about we do this over drinks? Okay, I'd love to. Sounds great. You can talk over drinks to develop a relationship of trust. This is the fundamental principle of my theory of fighting. So he's going to be a better fighter because he trusts his trainer more? Alright, let's go, Hideo. Hideo? Of course. Huh? Uh, what about me? Huh? What do you want? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about me. Have a good time! Ah, a nice cold beer is best. Especially after a hard day of training. I wonder if this is like his version of the hostess training thing. I'm kind of digging this so far. I mean, I really have no idea what I'm doing and we've barely done anything, but... I'm digging it. Got that right. So tell me, why did you decide to start fighting? The reason I started? Well, it's not a very noble reason, but... Just tell me already. I did it to meet a girl that I like to notice me. What are you talking about? There's this girl named Maeko Chan that I've had a crush on for a while. She's really cute and sweet. If possible, I'd like to make her my girlfriend. But I'm not very special and I lack confidence. She sure is to say no if I could even if I could ask her. Huh. So you wanted to get stronger and gain confidence in yourself. Exactly. I wanted to become a man that's worthy to be by her side. I started fighting to gain the confidence to ask her out. Not a terrible plan. It's an impure reason, right? You're pathetic. Um, it ain't impure. No, it ain't impure. It's actually a real good reason. Becoming a better person to achieve a goal is a respectable attitude, even if it is for a girl. Sejima said, thank you. I actually feel really guilty about that for the longest time. I'll feel better now, though. Well, looks like he's a bit more motivated. Welcome back. Did you have a good time? It's important to develop trust, so make sure you take your apprentice out for drinks again sometime. The greater the trust, the more the apprentice listens to you, meaning more efficient training. Try building a good relationship with Hai Chen. Turns past one. That's it for today. I've got to tell you, teaching is a lot harder than I expected. No worries. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Who's that sleeping over there? He's another one of your apprentices? Oh... 
That's Fukuyashi Ochikai kun. He doesn't pay the monthly fee, so he isn't an apprentice. It seems he just likes it here. He comes by to take naps during the afternoon. But don't worry about him, okay? He isn't a bad guy, but he's definitely not a nice guy, either. Fukashi Ochi... Ochiaya? Huh. I wonder what he wants. Well, enough about that. Thank you very much for your time today. Come by to train apprentices whenever you want, just like you did today. We're always here at the dojo, so feel free to stop by anytime. Please. Also, if there's anything you don't you didn't understand, just read this Sodashi notebook on the bench over there. It'll explain everything. S a Sodashi notebook, huh? Gotcha. I'll read it when I'm having trouble. Alrighty then. See you next time. Well, let's play this for a little bit. I'm intrigued. So this is the Sodeshi Notebook. Looks like it's packed with useful information. Okay, this is a whole bunch of stuff he didn't even talk about. Every student's goal is to win a tournament. Work to have your students win in as few turns as possible. The sooner the victory, the better the prize purse, and the easier it is to earn a good evaluation rank. For the most money and best evaluation, you have to win within 15 turns. After that, the prize purse slightly decreases every 5 turns. You'll be forced to compete in a tournament on the 50th turn. Do your best to win a tournament in fewer than 50 turns. All tournaments are 8-man tournaments. Therefore, you must win 3 fights to win, e to win the entire tournament. You'll be fighting skilled opponents, so make sure you've come prepared and healthy. Training menu consists of four regular slots and one special slot. Combination of these five slots constitutes one turn. Regular slots consist of basic training that will boost various attributes. There are nine different types of training sessions. Each student has strengths and weaknesses. Access abilities as you as you create his menu. The special slot is more for irregular training, such as learning finishing moves and sparring. You can also use this slot to have your students participate in tournaments and various matches. <clears throat> Exhibition matches or single match fights. You can participate in these matches using the special slot. Winning these single match fights will earn you money, which can be used to enhance the dojo's facilities. There are 15 types of matches, each with a different levels, event period, and prize purse. Three of the 15 events will be listed during each turn, so make sure to look at what is available. Expedition, exhibition matches will enhance your abilities whether you win or lose, so try to participate as often as possible. However, losing will cause your students' trust and mood to slightly decrease. Finishing moves are techniques that allow you to inflict major damage on your opponents during fights. Finishing moves can be learned by selecting master finishing moves from the training menu. There are a total of 10 different types of finishing moves, but each student can only equip one. Make sure to check the details of a move before equipping it, as each move differs in power and conditions for use. The variety of finishing moves that apprentices can learn will increase with the number of specific actions that Sejima himself learns. <clears throat> the variety of finishing apprentices will learn will increase the number of specific actions. Okay, so the more I learn, the more they learn. Shining finishing moves during fights. Equip your apprentices with finishing moves to enable them to turn the tide in a tough fight. To have your apprentice execute a finishing move, use rapid button presses to fill the finishing gauge. Once it is full, you will be able to give the word. Just make sure you get the timing down just right. Immediately after giving the order, a button prompt command will be displayed. Pressing the correct button at the right time will result in a, success in a successful finish. If you fail, your apprentice will take a brutal hit from the opponent. The deeper your apprentice's trust, the easier the button command and faster the gauge will increase. Therefore, developing trust is crucial in executing a successful finishing move. <coughs> However, trust decreases each time you use a finishing move. Using too many will cause you to lose trust that you've worked too hard to develop. Make sure you use finishing moves with moderation and, ha and at the proper timing. Also, please be aware that after you used a finishing move twice during a fight, the amount of damage the sub subsequent finishing move does will be halved. The gauge will also not increase as quickly as before. 
<clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Skills. Fights and training will be fights and training will be more to your advantage if you equip students with skills. There are a total of ten skills and up to three that can be equipped at a time. Students can learn new skills through conversations with with Saijima or by repeating certain training. Learn more skills and find good combinations to make fights and training more effective. Use enhanced facilities function to pay to upgrade the dojo's facilities and boost the efficiency of training. You can only enhance facilities for the nine regular training sessions. All facilities start at level one and can be enhanced to levels two and three by paying money. Please note that the dojo must undergo renovations to enhance its facilities from two to three. The option to undergo renovations will become available as you train your apprentices. Enhancing facilities is vital to efficient training. Work hard to earn money in fights and create the perfect training environment. Dojo rank. Dojo rank represents the dojo's current rank. You can rank, raise the rank by winning expedition matches and tournaments, as well as enhancing the dojo's facilities. Facilities. The dojo rank can be raised until all the apprentices have been trained. Do your best to reach rank S, the highest possible rank. By the time you finish training all of your all of the apprentices. Oh, so there's only a limited number of apprentices then. <clears throat> Apprentices become injured when forced to train hard during times of low stamina or if their mood is bad. There are three levels of injuries, severe, normal, and light, and each require a different amount of time to heal. Once injured, you can only select rest as the training menu option until they heal. If an apprentice is injured during a turn, all remaining menu slots will automatically switch to rest. Okay, so resting only fills you up part way, so you might need to rest multiple times. I wasn't sure if that was the case or if it was just like, pick rest once and you just maximize their recovery. Resting while injured does not have the same effects as resting during a normal training session. Instead, the apprentice's abilities will decrease with each slot. Make sure the apprentices take rests periodically so they do not get injured. Ditching. Apprentices ditch training when trust is low, their mood is bad, or if they have little remaining stamina. When an apprentice ditches, he does not participate in that particular training slot. Ditching causes all abilities to decrease, so be careful. The probability to ditch differs with each apprentice. Do your best to maintain trust and provide a reasonable training menu. <clears throat> oh wait, did we... I wasn't paying attention. Did we do mood and trust? Was that what we were reading? Or ditching? Yeah, okay. Mood and trust were the core... Or the core of efficient training. Mood has five levels. The better the mood, the better the training results and performance during fights. Good mood means less ditching and fewer injuries. Trust also has five levels. The higher the trust, the more the apprentice will listen to orders and the less they will ditch. It will also increase the efficiency of solo training and make it easier to use finishing moves in fights. Mood can be improvised through training sessions such as stretching and trust can be boosted through meetings, sparring, and winning matches. <clears throat> Oh, that's what stretching does. Okay. Make sure to train your apprentices with not only their abilities and health in mind, but their mood and trust. Can I not go over there? Uh, I guess not. All right, let's... Let's double save this. All right, let's see this stuff. Hey, Sajima-san, I was waiting for you. Shall we start our training now? Uh, no. Maybe later. Oh, that's too bad. But you're a pretty, pretty busy person. Come back when you have more time. Oh, hello. Are we going to start training already? Oh. All right, well then, yes. Yeah, let's get started. Right. Fighting Theory Part 2. Mastering finishing moves. During this session, you can teach apprentices finishing moves that will sway the outcome of a match. Teachable moves will be added to the list accordingly. Just select the move that you want to teach your apprentice. These moves can usually be taught in one training session, but two sessions may be needed to, as each apprentice has his own strengths. Also, the number of finishing moves that you can teach will increase as you learn more about moves yourself. For an apprentice to use a finishing move during a fight, he must have the move equipped. It's your job to instruct them when to use it. 
However, for some reason, apprentices don't feel trusted when instructed to use finishing moves, so trust decreases a little with each use. Use only finishing moves at decisive moments. In general, just believe in your apprentices and watch over them during their fights. Teaching your apprentices all your own moves is like a father transmitting knowledge to his son. This is the most exciting part of teaching. This is how the threads of history are spun. Ah, that's so moving. But now it's time to start weaving our own history. Still has no foundation. Gotta master the basics. Take a rest to, to rid your body of accumulated fatigue. Greatly restores stamina. Tune your mood after repeated hard works. Also restores stamina. Ah, uh, let's keep that. Teach your apprentice a fighting move. Consumes a great amount of stamina and slightly decreases mood. Alright, then I'll go ahead according to plan and teach you a big finishing move. Which move should I teach him? Um, Tiger Slam? Okay, let's get started. I'm sure you got it down now. Give it a try. Go easy on me, please. Ah! Good! You did it just right that time. Now don't forget what you learned. I like how it didn't show me what the move was. That's the end of the fighting theory part two, mastering finishing moves. I'm glad you were able to learn it. Ow. Takes talent to remember such a hard move in one training session. Wanna keep going and try to learn another? Yes, sir. You bet I do. What? You're kidding, right? Not two in a row. <clears throat> he learned Tiger Slam. Hey, it's Sajima san I was waiting for you. Shall we start our training now? Sure. Let's get started. All right, today is fighting theory part three, sparring. During sparring, you'll be able to exchange direct blows with your apprentice. Even an exceptional teacher cannot gauge a student's strength by watching alone. Experience your student's growth through sparring. Also, don't take it easy on them. Show them your true power if you want your apprentices to grow as fighters. Teacher and apprentice engage in fist-to-fist -fist communication. Now that is a beautiful sight. Lions, the king of all beasts, are known to push their cubs off cliffs. And do you know why? Because they love them. That's why. Well, Sajima-san, show your apprentices how much you love them by using those fists of yours. <clears throat> okay, we need to rest. And then stretches, I guess. Let's do a bunch of stretches. Training fight with your apprentice consumes a lot of stamina but will boost overall abilities. It does a decent chunk. Oh, that increases my stamina too. Good to know. Time for sparring. I'm grateful that you're willing to work directly with the apprentices. Don't mention it. There ain't no point in doing this unless we all go unless we go all out. Same goes for you, Hideo. Got it? Right. I'll give it everything I got. So were you actually fighting? Oh, okay. That <laughs> just destroyed him. Oh, he does not look healthy at all. 
Well, that was a great fight. How was sparring with your apprentice? Hideo Chan got beaten up pretty bad, but it seems like it was a real learning experience for him. I couldn't ask for anything more. This is how the teacher apprentice relationship will grow deeper. So make sure to keep sparring. It's a quick way to learn, and I can just watch. Hey, Sajima, I was waiting for you. Shall we start our training now? So I should have read through that book, because he's basically going to tell me everything in that book now. Today's fighting theory is part four, resting. Resting will allow apprentices to recover stamina that they lost during training. Rest can be selected for both special and regular slots. Make sure to rest frequently, as pushing your apprentices to train when they have little stamina may lead to injury. Once injured, apprentices will not be able to do anything but re rehabilitate, gradually weakening each ability type. So be careful. Training fighters is like the epitome of life. Train hard, allow for proper rest, don't push too much, and follow an efficient plan. Or else you'll end up like me, full of debt and suffering. Ha! Funny. Uh, kick. Ground. Maximize your stamina. Allow your apprentice to full beat rest. How about we listen to Sudeshi and take a rest this time? And disconnected. That's a great idea. Let's rest. Because I'm worried about Heidi Chan's condition. Ha! <laughs> That's why. Can't eat any more. Nyam, Nyam. That was a great nap. How was it? Did you learn the important importance of rest? Resting is vital. Let's make sure we get as much rest as we can. The next training session is an exp exhibition match that uh, we better save it for doing that Time for Fighting Theory Part 5. That means it's time to, to participate in an exhibition match. Put simply, exhibition matches are like practice fights. They are a perfect way to test out your skills before entering a real tournament. You can earn reward money by winning exhibition matches. Then you can use your money to enhance the dojo's facilities. <laughs> there are a total of 15 types of matches. The level, reward, and time requirements for joining differ for each match. Your ability level increases regardless if you win or lose, so fight often, but trust will decrease a little if you lose. If your apprentice has a finishing move equipped, you can instruct him to use it during fights. Finishing moves can turn fights to your advantage. However, finishing moves are a double-edged sword. Using them will reduce your apprentice's trust. Use 
Only use them when you really need to. That's enough about the details. Seeing is believing, right? Let's go ahead and arrange a match. No foundation. I haven't done the basics yet. I don't think we have anything there, do we? A simple yet powerful body slam. Low power. Um, sure. I'm gonna throw some power into there at some point. Can the stamina go all the way to the edge? Or how much can the stamina go increase? You will be competing in a brawl fest. This is a match for hot blooded street fighters. I think he should do alright. To instruct your apprentice to use a finishing move, equip him with a finishing move and charge the finishing gauge on the bottom left. However, as I said before, finishing moves are a double edged sword. Your apprentice's trust will decline, so only use them when you need to. Fighting connoisseurs, go Sudeshi Dojo. Oh, this is like foxy boxing. Okay. Wow, you are not doing anything, dude. Yeah, we should have... We need to focus on power more. I'm assuming technique makes my abilities better? Oh, wow, that was quick! Holy shite! Just as I thought, I'm a failure as a human being. Ah, I'm so pathetic. It's too bad about the loss. Seems like he's pretty upset about the whole thing, too. But don't lose sleep over it. It was actually pretty good practice. Let's just train harder to get our revenge next time around. This concludes my lessons on fighting theory. From the next session, you will be in charge of deciding special slots as well. Turn Heidi Chan, Hai, Hai Chan into a champion in as few turns as possible. Go Sudeshi Dojo! Oh, hello. Are we going to start training already? Oh. Sure. Um, speed, good. Let's change technique for benching. Stanama. Let's keep doing stamina. Sparring. Solo training. Tr trust your apprentice to train on their own. Odds for a successful training session depend on personality and trust. Teach your finishing move. Consumes a great deal of stamina and decreases mood. Fun conversation with peace from mood and trust. Rest. Exhibition match for tough guys. Tournament. Um, let's do a meeting. How about we call it quits for today and go out for a drink? That sounds great. You have to know how to separate work and play, right? Wait. See you later. Okay, have a good time. The Douglar wants to come too. By the way, you got a hobby or something? A hobby? Hmm. 
If I had to choose, I would say listening to music. That ain't a bad hobby. So what kind of old music do you listen to? <clears throat> Lots of things, really. But I guess I'm really into techno. Techno? What's that? Huh? Sajima-san, you mean to say you don't know about techno? Um... Never heard of it. Techno? Never heard of it. But I used to listen to traditional Japanese ballads and folk. You know, I had that impression about you. Singers of Japanese ballads and folk have a real soul. Just listening to them gets me motivated. You know, you should try listening yourself. Maybe I will. Hearing you talk about it makes me want to listen to it. I think I'll try listening to some traditional Japanese ballads before practice. Looks like he's motivated now. So, good choice? Welcome back. Did you have a good time drinking? I mean, it's not like I wanted to go or anything. Oh, okay, that, that counts as partial rest, too. Okay. Learn the skill moody. All right. You should teach them finishing moves, but try not to overuse them in fights because they reduce trust. I haven't mastered any of the basics yet. I need to train. Uh... Consumes a lot of stamina, but will boost overall abilities. I forget how much stamina that reduces. Let's do solo training. Solo training? So you're going to observe the apprentice's level of independence? All right. You can choose your own training routine. Just don't go slacking off. Got it. I'll do the best that I can. How was it? You learn anything? Well, I guess I did all that I could. It's surprisingly difficult to think of your own training sessions. Not too bad, I guess. Want to rest in the special one. But that might be kind of pushing it. Let's try it. How about we rest this time? Rest is important too. <laughs> Yay, that's a wonderful idea. Let's rest away. So, did that fix him too? Wow, I feel so refreshed. Resting really is necessary sometimes. Oh, that didn't fully heal you, or fully give you stamina. can only pick right oh okay
I feel like he lost a lot of ability there. Uh, stretches. Nothing but stretching. Yeah, sparring. Uh, I mean, this is neat and all, but kind of getting a little boring. I think maybe we'll we'll do this once. And then we'll just kind of continue on. Do nothing but stretches again. Sure. Same thing. in the face you blocked my uppercut I can't believe that the skill bravado the apprentice's mood determines his attack rate there's a 70% chance the attack rate will increase the apprentice's mood will improve by one level however his post fight fatigue will be greater than usual Punching, kicking. Now let's go back to stamina. And then I'm wondering if if I start a fight and he's low in stamina, does that mean he has like low health for the fight? Trust and mood. Well, those are high. We don't need to worry about that. Finishing moves. Eh. Let's do sparring.
I should do some rest. Yeah, I'm thinking Stanima is his health in the fights. Because he does seem to be having more health in the sparring matches. Okay, you're... Save it. Let's see what if we, how our uh, exhibition match goes. Exhibition match frequently held hundred four hundred. That's yeah, that's got to be high level. One million. Holy shite. Let's do this the easy one. Yeah. We'll be competing in Dragon's Gate. This is a match for beginning fighters. The level isn't high, so it's perfect practice. To instruct your apprentice to use a finishing move, equip on yada yada yada. This is the beginning of a great history. Go Sudeshi Dojo. Again, this is kind of cool, but I like Foxy Boxing better. Oh, damn. Okay, I think I gotta get rid of that stamina move. Yeah, so I think power is just damage with punches. Speed is how fast he moves, and then technique is how strong your special abilities are. You did it! You won the match! It seems like Hai Chen was able to further refine his skills in the fight, too. No doubt about it. I'm definitely more confident in myself now. Thank you. I'm going to keep on working hard. He's not popular with the girls, but at least he has confidence now. Keep up the hard work. He learned and I missed it. Final stretch. Okay, so we don't want that. Attack rate will increase after the opponent is cornered. Okay. My, my current plan is basically make them strong enough that we don't need to use finishing moves, so then I don't even need to learn them. He's really starting to master the basics. Why don't you try entering him into a low-level exhibition? Yeah, I already did that. Did I get a little stronger? I want to try out my skills in a real match soon. Or do you think it's too soon? I wasn't paying attention to how much health we started out with.
Yeah, we definitely started with less health. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I forgot about that again. Damn it. <laughs> that was all my fault. Increase trust again. That's mood. So I guess trust is only by going out with drinks? Okay. We can do that. That will also give him a little bit of rest, so... <laughs> oh, wait. Did I rest for... Oh, I... Shoot. That's okay. That's... Yeah. Oh, it did fill us up. I didn't think that quite would. Natural fighters worthy of becoming the next star. Health frequently. Uh, you can try it. Oh, I don't think I, my stamina increased. I think I maxed out. I'm so proud. Oh, damn. <laughs> This guy's getting good! <laughs> oh, okay, and that increased trust. Excellent. Well, I'm just gonna take the time to increase the dojo stuff, so we're not gonna worry about the tournament right now. gotten much faster. Hadio is a well-balanced fighter, so his other abilities will still grow as well. I don't have a lot of fighting experience, so I want to fight in as many matches as I can, but I'm not ready for a tournament. Oh, well. Must be of a certain power level. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, his stamina's not increasing anymore, so that's just two wastes. I kind of feel like I should have healed up beforehand, because these guys are going to be powerful. Oh, wow, that's a lot of health. Oh, that did not do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, okay. So four stars too hard. Three stars is where we're at right now. Yeah, there was really no point in doing that. Yeah. Damn. I really wanted that money. I got greedy. Kicking and more punching. And then let's have a meeting. We'll all go out for chocolate frosted milkshakes. Do you remember how I told you that I'd ask my echo chan out if I won in a tournament? Yeah. I remember. Well, if I actually do win and I have to ask her out, what do you think I should say? That ain't my problem. But I'd never asked someone out before. You're pretty much the only person I have to ask about things like this. Please, Sajima-san, just give me some idea. Hm, fine. So you want to know how to ask her out? All you got to say is... I love you! <laughs> Make me breakfast every morning. <laughs> May I ask your daughter's hand in marriage? What are these options? Okay, well, asking daughter hand in marriage is a weird thing to say to the girl. That just doesn't seem... I don't know, it's Japan, it's a different culture! Do they actually respond to that? <sighs> I love you! Sure, I uh, fucking know. It's best to be straightforward. Just say, I love you. Yeah, that's it. It's best to say it in a manly and straightforward way. I love, love, love... Lo oh my god. Yeah. Like that? Boy, it really does feel good when you say it so directly like that. Ain't exactly what I meant, but... Oh well. Um, didn't say anything about his mood increasing. What turn are we on here? One. Let's keep doing that and then rest and then we'll fight on the next one. Let's go three stars.
unknown level? Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, really? Money, not enough. Ah, uh, damn it. Let's try solo training. I was satisfied with how I did. I feel like I've grown a little bit stronger. Looks like it went well. Not bad. Oh, okay. And that increases trust. So, sweet. Okay, so power didn't increase. Did we pick the wrong one? No, it focuses on power. And then speed. Yeah, so we're not doing anything with technique. Yeah, so technique is still- what? That is so weird. What is going on? Oh, he's got green health! He's quick. Okay, seriously, why is his power not going up? His power won't improve any further. He has plenty of abilities now. Why don't you let him compete in a real match? I feel like I got a lot stronger. I bet I could even win a tournament. That heals quite a bit, actually. Wow. I didn't think it would be that much. 
<laughs> Whoops. Now it's time to participate in a tournament. Try and use everything that you've learned from your training. Good luck, Hadio. Be conf confident in yourself. Yes. I'm not just some gloomy guy anymore. I've changed. And I'll prove it to everyone. Then off we go. Go Sudashi Dojo! Wow, what the heck was that? Does my health carry over in the fights? Because that's going to be a problem already. Please let my health come back. Oh, thank God. Although I do feel like, oh, I feel like I should have maybe learned some finishing moves actually. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, that really doesn't do a whole lot of damage. We're not going to win. If we win this fight, He's going to get murdered in the next fight. like me. That did a bit more damage. This is really hard to fill!
ルーキーがやってきた今日から君も地下闘技場ファイターの仲間入りだどうできやいいスコアを All right, I did it. I'm a champion. I can't believe it. Congratulations, Haida Chan. Good job, Haido. Thank you so much. It feels amazing to achieve something with my own two hands. Ah,、uh, I'm so happy. Do you think it would be okay if I screamed? Hmm? Uh, I guess it's okay. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. I feel so good! Ah, I feel so much better now. Well, alright then. Wow, I've never seen Hai Chan like this before. Well, how about the three of us go out for a celib celebratory drink? Yes! Let's go. Ah! Oh, come on! Let me join you today! So, this means he's done then, right? Now that was fun. Celebrating your apprentice's victory over drinks? That is the best reward a teacher can get. Oh, yeah, the cops are chasing me. <laughs> you got that right. Great job, Hadio. Thank you, both of you. <clears throat> It's all thanks to you. I was a nobody until you made me into the man I am today. Thank you. We didn't do nothing, you won the fights yourself. You gave it your all and you came out a winner. Sajima s a n Have some confidence in yourself. And now you got the balls to ask that girl out. You're right. I feel like I can do anything now. Hehe. <laughs> oh, stop it. Hmm? I recognize that pretty voice. That's my love, Makio chan. Makio kun, not here. People will see us. Oh my. I don't care. I love you, Makio. You're the only girl for me. Oh, Mazukan. I'm looking forward to another fun night tonight. Oh my. Of course. Tonight will be just the two of us. Makio Maso favor, baby. <laughs> don't worry about that, Hai Chan. Women make up half of the entire planet. You'll find someone new real soon. I'm sure of it. Hi, Chan. Ugh. Talk about bad timing. Hmm. Hopefully, he doesn't get all down about it. What are you saying? We're talking about Hi, Chan. He's the definition of gloomy, wimpy, shy, timid, and hopeless. Of course, he's going to take it too hard. He'll be out of it for at least two months. Worst case scenario, he may even quit fighting. All we can do is cheer him up. Let's head back to the jo jo dojo for now. One, two, three! Ah! Hi, Chan. You ain't depressed? Of course I am. But sitting around and sulking about it isn't going to change anything, is it? I'm going to work hard until I get stronger and become more confident. Then, someday, I'll get an even better girl. How do you? I still have the potential to become an even stronger man. And to realize the potential, I have to train. That's the only way. Am I right, Saima Jan? <laughs> right on. Hai Chan used to be so negative. But look at him now. He's become so mature. <laughs> He doesn't need my help anymore. He's a fine man now. You're right. I'm so lucky to have the best apprentice. You're a cool guy, Hai Chan. Too cool. One, two, three! Yeah! Ooh. I assume that is good. First pupil. Dojo's rank has increased. Ooh, I leveled up because of that. <clears throat> Excuse me, 
Is this where I find the, te the Sodashi Dojo? Yes. Can I help you with something? If you're selling newspapers, we're not interested. I'm not selling anything. I came to ask if I could be an apprentice at this dojo. Do you have any room? And, uh... Uh... Apprentice? Sajima-san! Did you hear that? We got our second apprentice! Oh? What's your name? I'm... Takinaro Imana. I work in an office... I worked in an office until a little while ago. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I have no fighting experience. That's no problem at all. I don't have any either. Huh? What? Are you joking? I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this place. Relax. We've got we've trained champions here, and I'm the teacher, not him. Oh, that's a relief. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sodashi, and this is Sajima-san. Shall we go ahead and start training then? But I didn't bring anything to train in. What should I do? No worries at all. I have everything you need. Let's go ahead and get you changed. What the hell? Yeah, I agree. What the hell? It's an original Sudeski Dojo Masked Man set. Everything was ordered and made specifically for the dojo. Man, what a good investment. This is exactly why this place ain't got no money. You don't have to wear that, you know. Ain't it embarrassing? Actually, I feel surprisingly good. Like I'm a new person. This works for me. Great. I'm glad you get what a great outfit this is. Now we're getting in the groove. Introducing the one, the only, Sadashi Dojo Masked Man! Sound is too low. All of his training will go to waste if he gets hurt, so keep an eye on his mood. I'm sorry, my stamina is really low. Should I do something about it? I'm worried that I won't be able to keep up with my training. That's neat. They start with different uh, starting stats. Increases the prize purse. However, the apprentice will be more open to damage from the opponent as he will be distracted by fan reaction. Great, so punch facilities level two. Kick. Groundwork. Strength. Roadwork. I'm kind of thinking roadwork. Fatigue will decrease faster. That is a weird way to put that. Let's do road work. Oh, I was really expecting a are you sure type thing. Uh, and then... Punching strength, so we'll do that too. Cool, we spent all the money, and we have a new guy. Let's leave. Oh. Sejima so said, nice to see you. Let me know when you need a partner in a tag tournament. I'll be there in a flash. Hmm. I wonder if I can, like, reuse these guys later. Okay, cool. Well, that's kind of fun, but also kind of boring. So let's just continue on. It was more fun than I was expecting. I mean, if, if that's his version of the Hostess Club thing, that's a lot better than the Hostess Club thing. All right. Let's go out and get chased by cops. <laughs> Now that we've won a tournament and spent however long in this dojo. Been out here a while. Best hustle back to the hideout with, without the coppers spotting me. Return to your hideout without being seen by the police. It's game over if you're spotted, meaning you will lose all progress since your last save. Okay. Let's pick up trash.
I like how we gave that amazing epic speech in the Coliseum and then we just kind of turned around and trained a guy. A cop on patrol. If he sees me, I'm sh he's sure to come running. Better move carefully. Oh, damn, I got really close to him. To the rooftops. I don't think I've ever actually been up here with Sajima. Good. My beloved pupil, I am going to impart some knowledge to you. Listen well and engrave it in your heart. Yes, sir. Make sure to save her retirement. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, we gave that amazingly epic speech, and then we just trained someone to, like, fight in the calls. Okay, cool. Wait, aren't you... Uh, hi. I'm Kamiyama. We met in Okawana, remember? I was able to escape in all the chaos during your prison break. Wait. Are they not after you or anything? I mean, compared to you, I'm small fry, so nobody's coming after me. Still, I thought I should be careful anyway, so I've decided to stay here for the time being. I'm starting a business on the roof over there. My business is utilizing my expertise to mod equipment. I've still got to get things ready, so come by again soon. Um, my little brother's in town too. He specializes in weapons. Maybe you should stop by and see him too. I think he set up his shop in the far alley by West Park. I completely forgot. We don't have any equipment for Sajima yet. We really should kind of get on that. I'm still looking for that stupid Ashwood, too, for uh, training. I'm assuming the roofs have been cleared because of Akiyama. Can I go in? <gasps> oh, looks like it's locked. Damn. I wanted to see what happened when worlds collide! Whoop, no, no, no. Silly controls. Found two revelations too. I think there's like five to get with Saijima. Although I gotta admit, I don't know what I think about his sculpting. Thing. I mean, the whole taking up pictures and making a blog is kind of weird. Making a wooden like statue is even weirder, but also really badass. Press and hold thing. Dragon God defense. Guard against knife attacks with bare hands when in heat mode. 
Yeah, I'd say that's pretty godly. It's like that uh, samurai ability in Final Fantasy Tactics. You freaking learn that and then you're just untouchable. That was like my favorite ability, even though it was grossly overpowered. I think it was called Blade Grasp? Something like that. Where the hell am I going? Oh, Jesus, I am just gone everywhere. We go to the bikini bar? Oh. Oh, God! A cop. I can't afford to get caught right now. Better take a detour. Okay, I'm guessing this guy looks away. I like the siren over his head. I don't know if this makes a difference or not. That's you! Thing to see. Oh, okay. oh yeah. There's a manhole in here. Cop on patrol. If he sees me. He's sure to come running. Better move carefully. Well, I'm technically walking, so maybe this does make a difference. Was actually kind of intense. <laughs> Holy crap. Whew. Okay, I should be safe here now. Wait, why are we. Why don't we just. Why are we going this way? This is not a good spot to go. Understand why we took this route. Oh, there was a cop right there. Like, that's where we could have come from. Why? Why did we go back up? Whoa, down boy. Didn't come here looking for a fight. It's just when I came in to say hi, Gramps and his lame ass friends jumped me. So I, you know. What do you want? The boss is asking for you. Or it is, you two were bros back in the day. Majima wants to meet? Says to stop by the office tomorrow night. Where? The Millennium Tower. You know, that eyesore scraping the skyline like it's nobody's business. Fine. Knowing the boss, he'll probably got some fucked up shit waiting for you on the top floor. I'd come prepared if I were you. I still need to buy health. I really gotta get on that. 
Hey. Sup. Give a message to Majima. He best have a damn he best have some damn good answers ready. If not, he's getting his shit kicked in. <laughs> Think he can go all evil on boss man? No dig, but he'll straight up kill you. See ya. Best grab some shit eye before I settle the score tomorrow night. And disconnect. Oh, no. Tonight's the showdown with old Majima. I'm curious if he's going to do the fight thing like he normally does with Kiryu. Komarocho's still swarming with cops, Majima-san. You can't risk moving above ground. If you meet... If you're meeting Minami at the... Oh, maybe that was the tattooed guy. Who the fuck is Minami? At the Millennium Tower tonight, then maybe you should rest here until nightfall. In the meantime, I'll go scope out the best route to get you there in one piece. Much obliged. Just let me know when you want to rest up. I'll stay put until then. Guess I got some time till sundown. Alright, so I'm guessing that's going to be a point of no return. Can I get some health? Because this is going to be a thing. I'm very excited for it, but this is going to be a thing. Uh, probably should go to the pharmacy, I'm thinking. Which, yeah, we've got quite a bit of health. Let's go to the pharmacy. Found keys, was it for here? No, I guess it was all underground. And I mean, I really want to go karaoke with him, but. Oh, what? Oh, no, really? Oh, please tell me I can go all around. I mean, I guess I can get some, like, sushi and bento, but I'd rather go to the pharmacy. We're right there, right? Yeah. Who saw me? Was that the cop? Oh, God, it was the cop! Let me in, let me in, let me in! <gasps> Oh, that was close. Okay. Um. So just fought a bunch of Yakuza to be expelled. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when the dude cut his pinky off. Yeah, that was great. Picked with even more nutrients. Okay, so this... I think I want Emperor. I am pretty high on health. Oh, this is going to be all my money. Damn. Well, I'm stocked up now, at least. Hardest part was the end. You don't need to worry. You're a civilian. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ugh. Excuse me. Could you show me some form of ID? Damn it. I'll be taking it if they question me. Gotta run. Hey, stop right there. Oh, it's a chase. Uh, I found the hardest part to be, yeah, the boss fight at the end. I forgot about that. That was a waste. Oh, okay. I don't remember how to do this. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I think it was third try. Oh, dude, you're lucky. I think that took me like 
seven or eight tries. Mind you, I think, because I didn't know, I didn't understand how, like, it's been a long time since I played Japanese games, and I forgot that their difficulty is the computer cheating. So, one thing you'll notice is that when you get punched, there'll be, like, a stun delay. And you'll notice that enemies don't have that. Like, you will punch them, and then half a second later, they'll turn around and punch you. Whereas if it's the other way around, you've got, like, a second and a half delay. I forgot about that, so I played Zero on hard. And it was hard. So, yeah, that would... That was, would explain why I took so long. Because, yeah, I think it was like seven or eight tries. Because that was also like the first real combat, so I I had to get used to the combat, period. Let alone, like, dealing with cheating computer stuff. Let's get some freaking answers finally here. Want to catch some Z's before I get Stark and Gemus yet? Uh, not yet. We can save it here. Oh, all right. Let's double save it. Yeah, I think I'll kick back a little. Sounds good. I'll go check out the best route for you to get to the Millennium Tower in the meantime. You sure you want to go, Sajima-san? Yeah. Time to settle the score for all the shit my boss and I have been through since 85. 25 years is a long-ass wait, man. You're telling me, kid. Only one problem. The streets are still swarming with cops. No way you will make it to the Millennium Tower above ground. Then how do I get there? Take the north side exit to go top side. Then go underground from the back of the Millennium Tower and exit at the Shinifuku parking lot. Next, head to the rooftop from Pink Alley and go a little south before returning to ground level. After that, head south from the ramen shop Go through the basement parking lot, past the central sewer, and come up a manhole in front of Millennium Tower. Sounds pretty fucking complicated, but I think I got it. You'll be fine as long as you can avoid the cops. Sorry, man. Wish I could do more to help. <laughs> You've done more than enough. Thanks for everything, kiddo. You bet. Saejima-san!最後に俺に一つ教えてください。さえじまさんは後悔してないんですか。25年ですよね。いくら親父のためとはいえ、25年もの時間たった一人無所にいて、それで後悔はないんですか。なんでそないなこと聞くんや。いや。どうしても聞いてみたくて。そうか。お前も今から何やでかいことでもしてかそうと思ってんのか。それで迷ってんねやろ。後悔か。ないことはないな。人をこの手で殺したっちゅうことは後悔しとる。後悔しきれんくらいにな。せやけど、親父のために無所に入ったとか、それが25年も続いたとか、そんなんは後悔してへん。どうしてどうして西島さんはそんなに強いんですか別に強ないよ。ただこの世界に入るときに、兄弟と
人からはヤクザ言われるかもしれへんけど俺は極道っちゅう生き方をプライド持って選んだんや俺の極道は仁義のためにあるんや西島さん25年前もし俺があの場から逃げ出しとったらそんな仁義に反したことした自分が許せんようになって今よりもっと後悔しているはずや。ひとちゃん、腹くくれ。極道の勝負中のは一度しかない。自分の人生かけてでも勝負する価値のある瞬間が来たときは、腹くくって勝負せえ。後悔する生き方だけはするんやないではい頑張るんやでほなな Go above ground north of the theater. Pass through the parking lot under n a k a n a c h i Street and exit the manhole in front of the Millennium Tower. I'm not going to remember any of that. Also, I don't know why you. Also, I don't know why I didn't have to cut my pinky off. Ah,、uh, if I remember right, they actually explain that a little later. Can't let any coppers spot me on my way to the Millennium Tower. Better stick to the underground and the rooftops. The route Kittle Chan told me about is my best bet, as long as I keep my eye out for the boys in blue. Go to the Millennium Tower without being seen by the police. It's game over if you're spotted, meaning you lose all progress since your last save. Tread carefully. Controller disconnect? Yep.、Yeah. Oh boy. This is getting quite the annoying. I don't understand why it's only these games that seem to have trouble with my controller. Cop on patrol. If he sees me, he's sure to come running. Better move carefully. I didn't even know about this area. <laughs> ah. Okay then. <clears throat> I know this area very well because that was the race. I've got it. Pre I still got it memorized. That was like a few weeks ago. I passed it.
下にすっかジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュムジュム Oh, I know where I am. This is like the the point area. Oh, okay. Well, there's no food stand there, but this dude's here. Damn, I should have brought my garbage with me. Oh, nice. I can do it even inside. Nice. Oh. Good soft garbage. <laughs> Bat. Okay, I didn't realize there were gradings on garbage. I really thought I was going to get more than that. I need like 8,000 or something for stuff, don't I? I kind of feel like maybe I should grab some of that. Dragon Flats. Yeah, 48,000. And then a bunch of materials. Wow, that is a ton of trash I gotta pick up. Oh, there's the food guy. Five store leftovers. Nice. Well, at least I got full health. I don't have to worry about being injured. It is a pretty good route. Oh dear God, what have I done? Uh. Shit, you actually showed up, Sajima san. Damn straight. Word from the boss man is if you're who you say you are, we're all getting our asses handed to us. Hmm. <laughs> This is a test then? Yep. And I'm curious what sort of man my boss will call his bro. Hope you don't mind if I let loose. Fine by me. Gives me a chance to see what kind of family old Majima scraped together. Take your best shot.、Oi. Hey, boys. This dude's sworn brothers with the boss. But that don't, mean sh that don't mean he gotta win. Shoot to kill. This shit's on. There's health items there.
させてもらいますわ。Pop up so quick. Good God.
That was a lot of guys. さすが兄弟。僕に影響行く人みたいよな。まだ。まだ。俺は終わってんだ。お、おやじ。Fuck, are we gonna fight? Mata Setana, Kyode Majima. Oh, my near, I do it, I can send a gun there. Basho, Kayoka, Joto Turakas here. Not the roof. Holy fuck balls. What's going on? どこに行く気ない。俺とお前の遊び場や。あそこは。さあ、行くで。俺らの思い出の場所にな。久しぶりに歌えんか。マジマ。あ？お前。俺がなんでこの町に戻ってきたんかは分かっとんのやろな。些細のおじきに会うため、それに俺への復讐ってとこやろ。それが分かっとんのやったら、なんでこんなことしてんねん。俺は二十五年前のぐらいが知りたいん
些細の親父を助け出せんか安島脱げや兄弟昔みたいに殴り合うて決着つけて俺に言い訳させてくれやお前が俺に勝てたらの話やけどな舐められたもんやな<笑>安心したわまだ体はダブついてないようや25年間無所で毎日鍛えられとったわのうのうと暮らしとったお前とはちゃうそれじゃこっちも手加減なしで行かせてもらうで望むところへ行くでーじゃあなーおおみんかんあがったブロックムーフヘクリアンスピリット Boost your Herculean strength by remaining undaunted while being attacked in heat mode. That was a good use of an ability or item. Excessive.
you got to be kidding me. Felt a little bad about using that healing item, but I feel less bad now. ギラギラしてた。いつの間にか俺もお前もええ、親父になってしもた。お前の関西弁も板についとるやないか。あ何や、馬鹿にしとんのか。いや、ちゃう。だな。昔のお前は俺にとってもっともっと強かったような気がするんや。だいたいその眼帯はないんや。そんなもんしとるから。これは関係ないわ。もうこの目とも 25年の付き合いやからな。せや俺や些細のおじきがお前を失ったあの日俺はこの左目も失ったなんやとおまあこんなわけやまあ両目があった頃よりも実際弱くなってしもたのかもしれへんけどなまあ元が強かったからちょうどええわ兄弟あその左目あの事件に関係しとるんかお前があの日来んかったんはその目に関係してんのか教えてくれよ兄弟あの日あの時なんでお前は来られへんかったんやあの上野清和会の襲撃計画あれは多分仕組まれたことやってんや多分せやせやけど確かめようにも確かめられへんねんなんでや俺らをはめたかもしれんやつは 
ついさっき殺されたらしい誰なんやそいつは柴田や柴田和夫おそらくやつが些細のおじきやお前それに俺をはめた張本人や Oh, come on, you're not going to further elaborate? Oh, okay. Come on, you're not going to further elaborate. Come on, you're not going to further elaborate. Come on, you're not going to f うまくなりましたねよく努力されてるようだ島野さんが目をかけているのもよくわかりますせやから何なんすか用があるなら早言うてください柴田さん礼服ですか今日は誰かの葬式ですかいやそれは別にああそういえば支えのとこの佐島も今日は礼服を着て出かけて行ったみたいですそそうですか、oh, he totally、knows. 担当直入に言います今日の上野義治の襲撃真島さん行かないでください<笑>どうしてそれをあなたと佐江島は今日出所直後の上野義治を都内のラーメン屋で襲うそういう計画ですよね実はあの計画ちょっと問題がありましてね予定を変更させてもらうことになりましたどどういうことや上野清和会を今潰すのは得策ではない道島組長がそう判断したということですなんやと<笑>そう興奮しないでこれはあなたが所属する堂島組が決定したことなんですから柴田藩ちゃんと説明してくれやそもそも今回の上野義治襲撃の計画あれは堂島組が都内の島拡大のため計画したのがことの発端ですその計画を堂島組は支え組へと託したそこまでは知ってますねなあせやから堂島組の俺と支え組の佐島がやることになったんやそうですでもこの計画何かおかしいと思いませんか何がや我々登場会はどうして出所直後の上野義治が都内のラーメン屋に来るという情報を知り得たのか考えても見てください2年もの間刑務所に入っていた人間が出所直後ラーメンを食べるなんて陳腐な行動に出ると思いますか上野清和会の総長ともなれば組が用意した方面祝いに向かうのが常識です That's a good point. そ,それはおかしいんですよこの話は最初から裏の内通者によって仕組まれた可能性が高いんです内通者狭く人目につかない郊外のラーメン店襲ってくださいと言わんばかりの場所にわざわざ出所直後の大物が行くと思いますかそれじゃどうして上野はおそらくこの計画裏で上野清和会の裏切り者と登場会の裏切り者とが手を組み仕組んだものなんです裏切り者やとええ上野が出所後そのラーメン屋にやってくるという情報を出した人間それを仕入れた人間それが上野清和会の裏切り者登場会の裏切り者ということになりますそれは誰なんや登場会の裏切り者は分かっています笹井秀樹今襲撃に向かっている佐江島大河の親笹井組の組長である笹井がこの情報を仕入れた張本人ですそ笹井のおじっき笹井は上野清和会とつながっている
笹井は登場会に上野が現れる場所の情報を流しわざと我々が襲撃するよう促したどどうしてそんなことを yeah, 戦争を起こす気なんですよ戦争笹井は登場会が上野清和会に手を出すきっかけを作り出すことで逆に上野清和会が登場会相手に戦争を仕掛ける理由を作り出そうとしているんですそないなことして何の得になるんやさあそこまでは分かりませんただ上野清和会にとってはこれ以上ない戦争の大義名分が出来上がる何せ先に手を出したのは登場会なんですからねきっと笹井は上野清和会側の内通者と手を組み戦争の事態収集に動くそうなれば支えは一躍登場会の幹部候補として名が売れるそんなとこでしょう真島さん今日の襲撃道島組の人間であるあなたは言ってはいけないこのまま襲撃に向かえば道島組長いや島野さんにも迷惑をかけることになってしまいます真島さん私の話聞いてますか兄弟はもう向かってねえじゃあ俺はどうしたらいいんじゃま、真島さんあんたは俺に兄弟を裏切れっちゅうかこのまま見殺しにせっちゅうか落ち着いて落ち着いて俺は行くたとえどんな裏があっても構えへん俺にとって、サイジムはたった一人の兄弟なんじゃ。真島さん。でもそれじゃあ,あなたの身も。うるさい関係ないわこっちは備えのもん。とっくに捨てる払ってきたんじゃ。そうですか。それじゃ仕方ありませんね。おいこういった手荒な真似はしたくなかったんですが残念です柴田あなたにはしばらくの間ここで暮らしてもらいます柴田野郎だこの人数相手に手こずらせやがって<笑>いい根性してるぜさすが襲撃を任されるわけだ。いいか俺たちは親父の命令であんたをここに監禁してるわけだが殺すなとしか言われてねえつまりだ暴れたあんたを落ち着かせるためなら多少の傷を負わせても何にも問題ねえってわけだ例えば目ん玉の一つくらいだったらなさあ謝れ泣いて俺に詫びろでけん何俺が頭下げれんのは自分の親父と自分が認めた男だけやそれじゃあ覚悟はできてるってことだな目ん玉一つくらいでお前には頭下げんああそうかよ Motherfucker! Ah!
God, I felt that. I mean, there was no warm up or anything to that. He just went for it. よし。<笑><笑> 時間だ。おい、谷村。はあ。なんすか。一つだけ忠告しておいてやる。一人で何を嗅ぎ回ってるのか知らないが。妙なことに首突っ込んでると。親父さんの二の前になるぞ。<笑> いや。別に。ご忠告どうも。どこ行く。見回りですよ。Hey, what's up, Chief? Is that all you have to say? You went to a mahjong parlor during your patrol last night. Or your patrol yesterday. That's what's up. Hmm. I did? This isn't a joke. Please don't gamble while you're on duty. I shouldn't have to remind you. Okay, alright. Look, someone called in saying you took them for tens of thousands of yen. What do I say to that? Who'd you say... Who'd you say called that in? I didn't. I can only imagine what you'd do to the poor fellow if I did. Anyway, think of the position you're putting me in here. What would I say to your father, letting you run amok like this? I should mention I, I risked my neck putting you into community safety. Have you ever considered that? Yeah, you're right. Sorry. At least make an effort to stay on track, alright? That's really great when we're this corrupt and we're still on the force. Okay, now to find whoever ratted me out to the force. Orchard Palace Mahjong is a good place to start. Oh, oh my god, that is so little health! Oh, this is going to be very hard to adjust. Save it. Damn it. I can't believe I lost again. What? More Mahjong? Where at? Orchard Palace? Yeah. I was there all night playing, but I got completely cleaned out. I'm still in shock. Oh, I see. But you're just going to go right back to it, aren't you? Yeah, I'll probably get the urge to play again in a, another two or three days.
that mahjong parlor over there is holding a tournament called the four gods cup it's a contest to crown the best mahjong player in kamarocho you should enter if you feel up to the challenge have you ever tried it out actually yeah i have but i've never managed to make it beyond the bottom pool the competition is really fierce yeah no i tried that i had no idea what i was doing There. Oh, there is a shiny. Anything else? Nope, oh, guess not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Tani Morrison. You here to play Mahjong again today? No, not today. Can you tell me which members were here in the shop when I was playing here yesterday? Hmm. Well, there was one person I wasn't familiar with. They were probably someone who came in here for the first time yesterday. The other members are those two regulars who were playing over there. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Thanks. You're very welcome. Did something happen? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, all right. Hey, you got a minute? Oh, Tending Morrison. Back to do some more damage? No, I'm here to find a snitch, and it better not be you. Snitch? What are you talking about? Save it. The chief said someone filed a complaint about yesterday. Come on, Tending Morrison. That isn't the f that it wasn't the first time I lost a major chunk of change to you. If I was gonna snitch, I would have done it a long time ago. Plus, I don't even want to know what you do to me if I did. Right? For sure. I can always earn back the cash you rolled me for. The damage you do would probably be a lot more permanent. You got that right. Oh, but what about the other guy at the table? I wouldn't be surprised if he did it. Yeah, he seemed like he was hurting for money. Bet he was hurting even more after you dropped in and steamrolled us. Huh. So where is he now? Oh, he's... Uh... Wait a second. What? Tanny Morrison, tell me if I'm wrong, but this isn't official police business, is it? So why should we give away this information for free? Hey, you're right. This is the perfect chance to recoup some of our losses from yesterday. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Well, what's it going to be? All right, fine. Name your price. I won't ask much. Like I said, I don't have a death wish. How about two silver plates? They give those out as prizes here, so that should be simple enough. You really want to stick it to me that bad, huh? Fine. Silver plates it is. <laughs> Thanks, officer. We just want to win something for once, so I don't care how you get them. Easiest way is to win or buy enough Mahjong sticks and exchange them at the prize counter. Probably. Oh, yeah, we are exchanging. I do not understand Mahjong in the least. How much money do I have? 40? Hey, I heard you're in need of some prizes. Yeah, two silver plates. Can you give them to me? Sorry, no can do. However, you can get them by exchanging sticks. So you can either win a few games of Mahjong or buy the sticks yourself. If you just can't manage a win at Mahjong, feel free to buy sticks and exchange them as is. Hmm. Oh, now that I think of it, Tanny Morrison, the shop next door sells fake silver plates. Whatever do they use them for? <sighs> yep. Happening. Examine. Enter. Oh, did it just say enter? No, oh, okay. I thought it said examine. Uh, it was the pawn shop, I think, right? Yes, 
Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? I'm here to buy. Two fake silver plates, please. Two. There we go. I was wondering about that. Because we came through here before with Saijima, I think it was. And I thought it was very strange that you could buy fake silver plates. I guess this is why. <clears throat> hey, Tamori son. You get those two silver plates yet? Yeah, I got them. Yeah, got him right here. You handed over two fake silver plates. Hey, wait a sec. These are total knockoffs. Oh, come on. I didn't think they were going to find out immediately. True, but for all intents and purposes, they're still silver plates. You never said anything about quality. <laughs> wow, we're going to pull that. <laughs> really? You're going to do me dirty like that? And you call yourself a cop? Hey, I get you I get you your plates, you tell me what you know. That was our agreement. You came up with it yourself. Man, you suck. Well, whatever. Should have known better than try to pull one over on you. <clears throat> okay, so the other guy at the table yesterday, his name is Lida. Yep, that's your guy. Can't say we know him that well, but we do see him around very every so often. He mentioned he didn't have a traditional job, per se. But he works at the Shinifku parking lot. Oh, the one over at Shinifku and Senyaro? Yep, that's the one. Now, I don't know what he does over there, but he did say that's where he makes his mahjong money. So, I guess he must be doing something, right? Okay, that's all I needed to know. Oh, but be warned, he was super pissed after you left yesterday. Said you weren't going to get away with what you did and other crazy stuff. Yeah, he was kind of freaking out, honestly. He's a pretty big dude, too. Wouldn't want to be in his way when he's mad. Anyway, that's pretty much all we got on him. That's more than enough. Guess I'll swing by the Shinifku parking lot and pay our friend Lida a little visit. See if he's the guy who narked on me. Why is his name not capitalized? Yikes. Sucks to be him. Anyway, come back and give us another shot at you, will ya? It's only fair. Haha, <laughs> sure. Happy to make you happy to take your money anytime. We're on special patrol. Get a move on if you don't have any business here. <clears throat> How can I become a hostess? Oh, that was a short conversation. We're on special patrol. Get a move on if you have any business here. What are you doing? Hmm? Playing pachinko. Pachinko? On your phone? Yeah. It's called Triple Seven Town. You haven't heard of it? It's an app that lets you play pachinko or slots on your phone or anywhere. Wow, that's cool. Let me try. No way. Don't you have a date soon? And by soon, I mean like now? Oh, come on. Just one game, then I'll go. Triple Seven Town. Sounds like something that the girls at the club might be into. You know that guy over at Shinifku parking lot? Nope. What guy? There's this guy who pays people prize money if they can hit him. He pops up in Komorocho from time to time. Really? You should give it a try. I mean, you're always talking about how good you are and all that mix mixed martial arts stuff. Are you kidding me? No way! The dude's got insane footwork. No one ever lands a punch. I watched half a dozen guys take him on, and not even one managed to graze him. That is impressive. I think I'll go see him in action later. 
Yeah, you really should. The parking lot he's in is over by that one in Yakanuo restaurant. Oh, it's... Those guys are back. Okay, that's cool. Hey, did you mention that Mr. Try and Hit Me? Who or what is that? Yeah, I was just talking about him. He first showed up in Komorocho about four or five years ago. He goes around offering prize money to anyone who can land a punch on him. Wow, is he really that good? I've never seen the guy lose, but I've heard he's been beaten a few times, and it's always by the same person. Ah, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if this Mr. Try and Hit Me is the Lita guy I'm looking for. Hey, haven't I seen you before? Yes, I remember. I saw you speaking to someone in a foreign language. You must be quite the polyglot. How many languages do you know? Due to his upbringing and occupation, Tummy Moore is well versed in Asian languages. Tummy Moore is also a resident of Little Asia. He considers the staff of the staff of Homeland to be his second family and can use the restaurant as a hideout. Oh, so we can finally get in there. Huh? You know most of the major Asian languages? Really? Then I bet you could hold a conversation with anyone who lives here. Oh, I want... Uh, we'll check out Little Asia after. I'm very curious to see how, how it's changed over the games. A manhole? Huh. The lid's too heavy for me to lift up and open. Hey, you. What's this? A challenger? Finally, someone around here who actually has some balls. I go by Mr. Try and Hit Me. The job's in the name. Hit me on an, in under a minute and you get 50,000 yen. Only costs three grand to play. Want to give it a shot? Hell no. Do I not look familiar to you? <clears throat> oh shit! You're that Mahjong monster. Bingo. Now look, I have some questions for you. Got a few moments? Nope. Don't know nothing. And I definitely didn't rent you out to your superior officer either. So why don't you scurry back to your donut patrol? You're not very bright, are you? But thanks for saving us both time. Thanks for saving us both. Saving both of us the time. Yeah. Now's the part where I teach you a lesson for being such a sore loser. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Can't touch this, baby. You gotta be kidding me. It ain't no joke, jackass. They used to call me the Artful Dodger back in the day, because my footwork alone is a masterpiece. So get ready, because for, for the very first time in Komorocha history, Mr. Try and Hit Me is going to try and hit you. This is going to be some groundbreaking shit right here. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll be handling... Handing Handing your ass in under a minute. You think you're hot shit, huh? All right, then. Game on. Can I fire my gun into the air? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit. 
How about it? Want to try again? Sorry for ratting you out. I won't do it again. Damn right you won't. Why don't you do... Why did you do it in the first place? Well, it's like this. I've been living as Mr. Try hit me for years here in Komorocho. But there's this other one scary looking guy in a gray suit who challenges me to a fight every year. Ha 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 ha. Nice. And every year I end up losing. Each time I train harder before harder before fighting him again, but I can't seem to beat him. So I started playing Mahjong to take my mind off of it, but I ended up getting hooked. Turns out I'm pretty damn good. But just when I started thinking Mahjong might be a good way to make a living, you had to come along and spoil the fun. I lost a shitload of money to you. So I was pretty pissed. What with the Mr. Try and Hit Me thing and the Mahjong thing all going to hell. So I picked up the phone and... Yeah. Anyway, I'm ready to suffer the consequences. Do your worst. I don't care. Eh, I'm over it. What? I'm saying you're free to go. After all, it's not like you're still out to get me. And besides, I got a few good punches in. Let's just call it even. Oh. Uh, okay. Thanks, pal. Just watch it. Wrap me out again, and you won't get off so easy. Yes, sir. I wouldn't dream of it. Right. Well, at least I got to work out some aggression. This guy can parry. I like him already. Incoming message from HQ. Report of fighting at Theater Square. Officers in the vicinity, head to crime scene. I swear, petty incidences like this never end. I guess it's close by. I'll have a look. Yeah. Sorry. Ah. Shut up, bitch. You're the one that started this, and now you just want to back out? You owe me money. All right, that's enough. I'll let this one slide if you disappear. And quick. Huh? You got a problem? Maybe I'll just kick your ass and collect what I deserve from you instead. No joke. Who the hell are you, anyways? I'm Tanamora, a detective here in Kamurocho. Shit! Fucking cops! Watch your mouth and get the hell out of here. Arresting punks like you is a waste of my time. Right. Consider me gone. Thank you. You saved me. No worries. I was just passing by. Don't think too much of it. But you should watch your step from here on out. Yes, sir. I apologize for the trouble. I'll be more careful in the future. Phew. That takes care of that. Looks like you cleaned that up quite nicely. And you are... Oh, I apologize. I am... Akashi. Here representing the Komarocho Guard. Komarocho Guard? Oh, that volunteer group doing a community watch type thing? You know us. Well, it's nice to meet you, Tanamori san. Huh? How did you know my name? Working in the area has made me really knowledgeable about the local police. And boy, have I heard a lot about you. I'm almost certain it's nothing good. Anyways, nice work back there. 
You resolved the situation by being the first on the scene and handled things ex expediently. I just came by because I was in the area and heard about it on my radio. Our group gives us... Our group gives its all to maintain the peace here in Kamarocho. But with a pleasure district this big, even our combined efforts can't cover all the problems that arise. That's for sure. Plus, and I'm not sure why, there's been some mystery group trying to interfere with us lately. The nature of our work requires we put ourselves in harm's way. But now we have people actively working against us. Our ranks are thinning. Hmm, that's not good at all. Which is why I have a favor to ask of you. Would you mind lending us a hand? Huh? Keeping the peace is technically my job, but I don't think I can just up and join your group. You won't have to actually join. Just help out once in a while. Our group is to... Our goal is to resolve incidences like the one you just dealt with. We want to make Komorocho safer for everyone. To do that, we need the assistance of police like you. That know much more than we do about the area. We'll use our funds to reward you, depending on how many incidences you are able to resolve. This isn't easy for me to say, but... We've heard rumors you were financially in need pretty often. Anyways, we'll pay you a fair amount for your services. Do we have a deal? Hmm... One thing bugs me. What is it? Well, you said you guys are volunteers, right? That's right. Then what's this about funds I'm hearing? Huh? Volunteer groups usually just barely scrape by. That is, unless they have some pretty strong organization backing them. Well... If you can't say, that's fine, I guess. Not like I have anything to lose. Thank you, Tana Morrison. You can come by and help us whenever you have the time. We won't force you to do anything you don't want to. Alright. But only when I hear something on the radio and I have some spare time. Really? Thank you very much. So, I go to you for the reward money, yeah? Yes. I'm usually here at Theater Square. Contact me once you've resolved a couple of cases. You don't mind me collecting a bit on the side from the people I help, right? I have no issues with that. Roger that. This is going to be such a big help. Thanks again. Well, as long as they're working for the benefit of Kamarocho, it won't help to hurt. Won't hurt to help out. Whether or not we remember to come by for the reward. Hello. Hey, Machan. I've run into a little problem here. Would you mind stopping by the restaurant? Okay, be right there. Thanks. See you in a bit. I wonder what Zhao's gotten mixed up in now. The easiest way to Zhao's place, Homeland, is to cut in from East Tahiri Boulevard. I don't think I've got any items. Henry? Henry? Don't think I've ever heard of it. You sure you're not thinking of Kenrai? Okay, I don't know what that was.
Oh, this is Little Asia. まだですか谷村さん。先週入った女コリアンだろ。留学生か。就労ビザ持ってない外国人が日本で働くのはもちろんだけど。そうと知ってて雇うのも不法就労助長通犯罪なの知ってた。捕まれば3年以下の懲役
Wait, isn't that... Yeah. The same clan my dad was investigating after the Yoshiharo Yuno hit. Right around when he was murdered. Ooh. Threads are connecting. You think this is connected somehow? Can't say. All I know is that the Unisuia clan's been quiet for 25 years. But now there's this shooting a week ago, and suddenly they got into overdrive? Something's definitely up. Following this case could lead me to someone who knows the truth about who killed my dad. You still looking for that woman? Yeah. Yasu Yasuko Sajima. Her brother is Taiga is the one who carried out the hit on Yuino. She's been missing ever since that went down. And you really think that Yasuko Sajima knows why your father was killed? Maybe. Maybe not. But the last thing written in his notebook was, Meet with Yasuko Sajima. That has to mean something. So she might even be the last person who saw him alive. Is this Tanamura? Yeah, speaking. This is Park, the manager at Midori. Midori? Oh, right, the Korean salon. What do you want? Can you come here as soon can you come here as soon as possible? Why? The police raiding the place or something? No, nothing like that. It's about that woman you've been looking for. Someone who looks just like her is here right now. Are you serious? That's why I'm calling. Hurry up before she leaves. Okay, be right there. Something wrong? I knew it. That killing set something in motion. Zyosan, I think I found her. Wait, the woman we were just talking about? I don't know if it's really her, but I've got no reason to doubt it. I see. Then I suggest you be careful. You think? I'm serious. You're telling me this woman shows up out of nowhere, right as the Yuna, Yuino Suena make their biggest ruckus in 25 years? The timing's too perfect. So you're saying she's involved somehow? Ah. Well, you're about to find out, aren't you? Now go. Find her before she disappears again. Right. You off running already, Ma Chen? Yep, business as usual. You know how it is. Let us know if you need anything, okay? You know you're always welcome here. After all, we couldn't be called Homeland if if we weren't your home away from home. That's sweet, May Hua. Thank you. You now have access to a hideout. Save your game, move items to your item box, reminisce on past events, and view your play stats. Further, your health will recover while at, at a hideout. I wonder if the woman at Midori is the same one I've been looking for. You can upgrade abilities. Two million yen in one week? That's impossible! We just have to trust him. He'll be back to return the money. When? A million years from now? His room was completely empty. Your friend took you for everything you were worth. What's going on here? Listen to this. This good-for-nothing fool just ruined our whole lives. They'll take our restaurant unless we get 2 million yen by the end of the week. I'm sorry, what? I don't get the full picture. One of my friends needed some money, but he didn't have anything for collateral, so... That's no reason to put our restaurant on the chopping block. Really, how much of an idiot are you? How could I say no to helping out a friend in need? Help? The only help you've done is help ruin our business and destroy our livelihood. 
Oh, what are we going to do now? We worked our hands to the bone for years to get this place. And now we're going to lose it over lose it over nothing. I'm sorry. So you got took for two million, huh? That's a lot of money. I don't even think Zhao San has, has that much tucked away. What's all this commotion? Oh, Zhao San. Guess what happened to this guy? It's just as your wife says. There are limits to what you can do for people. Can't you use some Asian gateway funds? No way! We don't have two million lying around. Yeah, I figured as much. The only other thing I can think of is gambling. But two million's a dicey proposition. Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. I am. Now Zhao saying, what do you know of do you know of any underground casinos? Somewhere with really high stakes? This is Lee's doing, Ma Chan. You don't have to go that far out of your way to help him. Well, I couldn't help him even if I wanted to with my salary. But there's nothing wrong with earning a quick buck at the tables, right? If that's your decision, then I won't complain. But I've been worried about you getting getting into gambling, regardless of all the help you've given us. That's why I haven't told you. Told me what? I hear there's an underground casino in Kamarocho. People call it the Dragon Palace. Really? Do you know where it is? Only that it's somewhere on Park Boulevard. That's a start. I'll go look for it. Thank you. Yes, really. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Besides, we're talking about gambling here. There's a strong chance I'll lose, so don't get your hopes up yet. And if I do manage to win, that would just mean you'll have to luck on you'll have luck on your side, right? Sir, you're wonderful. Well, I'll be back. So the Dragon Palace is somewhere on Park Boulevard, huh? I should go have a look. Are we actually? Oh, okay. Apparently, we are actually ga going to gamble, or try to gamble. Oh, there's no guys standing there anymore. Well, what is this side quest? I told you already. I'm through being rejected at cabaret clubs. Ain't there a strategy guide out there or somewhere? It's your job to make one. You could at least put in some effort. Uh, you know, no one can get in or out with you guys standing there, fighting like that. Oh, sorry. Huh? Wait a minute. Minism... Oh, how do I say this guy's name again? Minamizawa-san. This is your big chance. A hottie like him is sure to be a hit at the hostess clubs. Why don't you tap his brain for details? You want a member of the public to teach me how to get girls? No way! What about my pride as a celebrity? You're the one who came up with the idea for this project, and now you're worried about pride? What kind of dog shit answer is that? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll do it. Pardon me, sir, but I have a quick question to ask. Are you the type that frequents, frequents hostess clubs? Me? I mean, yeah, I'll go when I'm in the mood. Why do you ask? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Ash Abbey, an editor for a, men, for a men's magazine. Ever heard of Casanova? Oh, I think I've seen it on the shelves. So you're doing a story? That's right. Minamazawa-san here, of the Mars Fighters comedy duel, is trying to work on a series about cabaret clubs, tips, and tricks. Mars Fighters? Oh yeah, he's the one in all those TV dramas, right? Um, no. That would be his partner. Minamazawa-san is the one who couldn't land a TV gig to save his life. To make matters work worse, he sticks out like a sore thumb at cabaret clubs, and pretty much Tokyo in general. Can't believe he's on this project. Compared to Osaka, Tokyo's like the moon of a remote planet. 
The girls here are cold as ice, and look at me, I'm, and look at me like I'm an alien whenever I crack a joke. Talk about real life drama. At this rate, our column is absolutely done for. Unless you have some info about the staff at Jewel and Shine that could maybe help them out. If you do, we'll gladly pay you for the information. Hmm. I mean, I could always tell you about the girls I'm familiar with, if that helps any. That would definitely help. Oh, you're wonderful. Do you mind if I ask your name? Tenamora. Well, Tenamora, Sam. It's a pleasure to be working with you. We'll be at the cruise bar compiling data. That's in the underground mall, if you didn't know. Could you stop by there whenever you have some hostess tips? When you have the time, of course. Minamoaraza-san. Get your act together and thank this generous man. Or did your tongue fall asleep? Right. Sorry. You're really doing us a solid, Tenamora-san. Looking forward to soaking up all those juicy secrets. Uh, sure. See you at the bar, then. Oh yeah, that continues on. I don't think we're going to be doing that side quest. It's the same as Akimara. West Shinifuku Street. Are we close to that? I think we are. Yeah. I just told you, I found a roach in my food, and that's going to cost you a million yen. That's impossible. We would never serve food like that. Enough. I'm with the police. That whole roach in the food trick is the oldest one in the book, and you're bothering the other customers. Huh? You calling me a liar? can get this guy an attempted extortion. Thank you, truly. I don't know what I'd do if he damaged our store's reputation. Here's a little something to thank you. Nice. We're on special patrol, and I think that's the same thing. The abilities to get the fours. Boost rush combo up a level. Finishing blow that can be used after a boosted finish. Boosted rush combo. Essence of combos. Additional finished up finishing blows. Mastery may unlock follow up technique. Why after any finishing blow connects? Hmm. Cool. Well. I'm gonna call it there, guys. I was thinking about maybe stopping uh, when this guy got introduced, but I wanted to keep playing. Uh, so I think what we'll do next time is we'll try gambling. We'll see if we can get the guy, the the money that the guy owes. We'll try that for a little bit. I don't think it's really going to work because I'm going to basically just max bet <laughs> and try to win up some money. And then I think we're just going to cheat, basically. I'm going to max bet a couple times. And then if I lose, I'm going to quit or reload. And after I win a few, I'm going to go save it and then just kind of keep doing that for a little bit. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I'll necessarily do that side quest or not. It will just kind of depend on random number generation, I guess. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll continue the story after that, because I'm not going to do the hostess thing. So, 
that is the plan. It is also the end of the night. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time.